Hello, Kirk Miller here again. Uh, there's a few things that I forgot to mention, or maybe I didn't make them clear. So that's what I want to do now. Um, when you email me to be a part of Google Drive to add for me to add you to that account, what I need you to do, let's go to my Gmail account here, is that when you email me, I did tell you in the subject matter to put just Google Drive. Well, in addition to that, yes, you do need to, to put Google Drive, but under new messages here, it's going to go to kirkmillerart at gmail.com. But in addition to Google Drive, um, I want you to put your name because, um, for example, if you had received an email from Kmart66, you would wonder who the heck that person is, and it's me. And I know that many of you have email addresses that are similar to mine that um, don't uh, correlate to me or won't correspond to the, the role that I have. So put the first initial of your name and then the last, like so. And you can put a space or a comma or whatever. And then just put Google Drive. That's all you need to do to email me, okay? When that's done, um, and I go to Google Drive, and I've received your email, um, we'll want to add you to this particular list right here that I talked about in the last video. And in order to do that, I will need to um, go back here. Um, hold on. Sorry about that. Let's go back to um, my drive. And when I um, control click on this, it's going to ask me if I want to share this in so this particular folder. And I need your email, your Google, your, your Gmail email in order to share it. So your name. If you want to put your whole name, that's fine. But you just need first initial last name. That will work. Then in addition to that, just write Google Drive so I'll know that it pertains to this. And then you'll be added to um, share these files. Okay, so that's where you'll put all of your lessons when they're completed. That's where you'll put all of your original Adobe Illustrator files when they're com completed. And those are the three projects that we'll be working on this summer. Okay. So that was one of the things that I wanted to talk about. Um, another thing that may be a little bit confusing is that um, when I talked about um, the weekly syllabi and I said that we have the webinars that are Monday through th Friday, or I'm sorry, Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. But I did not list an end time. And that was uh, for a very specific reason. Um, typically, I schedule these um, webinars for one hour so that um, kind of coincides with uh, an in-class format where you have maybe an, an hour of lecture and two hours of lab or maybe a little bit more lecture and a little bit less live lab. Um, just depends on the need. Sometimes almost no lecture. Well. Um, plan on me scheduling this for one hour. That's what I'll do Monday through Thursday. Um, however, if you need more time, I will be there to um, uh, for you and we can be, have our webinar, webinar for as long as, as you need me to um, help or provide um, explanation for something that may be um, giving you troubles. However, on the flip side of that, if um, everybody's good to go, there are no questions and we're there for five minutes or 10 minutes or no one logs in after maybe 15, 20 minutes, um, then I will end the webinar. So that's how we'll work that. And if you need um, um, me to make sure that I'm, I'm there at a specific time, um, go ahead and email me at uh, kirkmillerhart at gmail.com and um, we can uh, set up a special webinar for you. Okay, that was the other thing, the duration of the webinars. Now, I also, um, a third thing that I wanted to talk about, <clears throat> and that was um, the lynda.com 
videos. So if we go up here and um, to gain access to lynda.com, um, typically if we click here, um, they have a free month trial, but you can get lynda.com for free at any time. Um, it's very quite, it's quite simple. Um, normally it is $25 a month. And if you want access to their tutorial files, that's an additional month, five, ten dollars a month. So that's you know thirty, thirty-five dollars a month if you want access to everything. And that's access to thousands and thousands of videos. However, there is a workaround for that. It's LACountyLibrary.org. Um, from here, if you do not have a library card, you can get one. So it says get a library card under the, the heading here. You can get um, one from here. And you'll also need a PIN number. So you want to get the application. You want to get a PIN number. And you can do all of this online now. You don't have to go in in person. Now, once you have your library card, um, you will have access to, under digital library, a whole variety of things. But the one that I'm particularly interested in is lynda.com. lynda.com, Linda Weinman uh, developed this website many years ago, uh, mostly for graphic designers, um, tutorials on learning um, computer graphic software. Um, and to gain access to that, I'll put in my library card. You can see that I already have mine set in here. And there's my passcode. And I go in, oh, come on. There we go. So here we go, have access to everything. So for example, for our class, um, for this summer class, if I wanted um, Adobe Illustrator, Twenty twenty um, fundamentals or essential training or new features. Let's see if they have one for that. They usually do. There you go. So I'll go ahead and I'll add that. So if you're wondering what new has been added to Adobe Illustrator um, in the latest version, what makes it different from the 2019 version, then you have this. Um, these video tutorials here. Okay, so that would be one of the things. And this one in particular here, it's a skill level, it says intermediate, um, it's an hour and a half. This happens to be very short, but many of these are several hours in length. Um, you have access to a plethora of video tutorials on almost any subject. Um, now that lynda.com has been sold, and it's, I believe, owned by LinkedIn now, in fact, LinkedIn may have sold it, um, but I'm not sure. Um, could be Microsoft that owns it. Who knows? But they've added many more tutorials that um, apply to business. And if you want to learn Excel or you want to learn Word or um, computer programming or anything, all of that is available here. And you will have access to all of this. So um, I will be using these video tutorials from time to time in class. I will not be able to um, record those, those videos. Um, that will be incumbent upon you to go to lynda.com and, um, and, and view them yourself. Um, so when I do show them in class and I'll record everything up to that point, and I'll say, now is time for you to go to lynda.com and watch the tutorials. But if uh, I, I've tried that in the past, even little snippets, and um, when I upload my video to, to YouTube, um, it gets caught and um, it's um, blocked because of uh, um, copyright infringement. So there you have it. Um, there's a few things that I wanted to add. Yeah, I'm not sure that there's anything else. And if there is, I'll probably add an addendum to this. So um, again, I hope all of you have uh, fun in the class this, this summer. And for those of you who are taking classes this fall, I hope you have a great time as well. And um, despite um, 
being working on working online, I think um, we can get a comp get get a lot accomplished and um, we'll, um, be able to produce some really wonderful, wonderful work. So um, that's it for now, and I hope to see you guys, everybody, in a, in a few weeks.